some supposedly 5 watt LED lamps that I got from my UK seller. Uh, they were selling them as packs of four, and I think, to be honest, it's a Chinese warehouse again, because I ordered some other lamps at the same time, and apparently they're being shipped from China. But these ones came very quickly because they came from the UK warehouse, and it says they've ticked all the boxes, GU10, 5 watt, warm white, 240 volt. So, let's test one of them. In fact, let's test them all and see what sort of wattages they come up with. So here's the power meter. Two point four, two point three, two point four watts. That's not really five watts, is it? I do notice it's got text on the side. It just says two hundred two forty volt eighteen LED. So let's try the other one and see what its uh, power is. Two point five watts. Okay, so they're saying five watts. I'm getting two point five. So that's fairly typical these days. It's just something you come to expect that you know, whatever they say, it's going to be half of it. Uh, it just seems really common. So I'll just put this to the side at the moment. And I got this to pack of four. So I probably took one to bits, as you could probably guess. So let's shove these uh, intact ones out of the way. And it didn't come apart very well. The It's got a glass front, which is good. That's a very good thing. Um, and when I tried just gently tweezing that up, a big chunk of glass came off the side. So I, it's open now, and here's what's inside. <coughs> it's uh, got an aluminium core socket board, and the LEDs are just wired in series, as you'd expect. It's quite interesting. It does say 18CX2835. JJD, I'm not sure that, uh, maybe that's a manufacturer, and 40mm, I'm guessing that's the outer diameter. It had this small uh, plasticised paper disc uh, between the aluminium substrate and the circuit board, which is reasonable enough because it's all live at mains voltage. And the circuit board has no smoothing. It's a capacitive dropper with a 560 nano 400 volt capacitor. Uh, let's check that, see if it is really, although having said that, I might knock a good result here because there's a one mega ohm resistor across it, but let's see what happens. Uh, 560 nano, let's put that to... Yeah, 560 nano. Yeah, that's pretty, that's good enough. So let's uh, doodle the circuit diagram down. This will have, there's not much in the way of surprises. There is a, a bit of an oddity. So we've got live and neutral coming in. Just doesn't really matter the order because they're just two white wires anyway. So I'll just draw, draw it in the usual format. So here's the capacitor. And it's got a quarter watt, one mega ohm resistor across it, as is pretty common. And then a bridge rectifier, discrete bridge rectifier based on 1N4... I'd guess 007 diodes. Uh, yes, I think that is 1N4. Yes, it is. I can see the 7, yep. So that's the AC, AC plus, minus. Um, it's got a resistor, metal film resistor, which is acting kind of fuse in, in, in rush suppressor type thing, limiter. Um, and its value is blue, red, black, 62 ohms. 62 ohms, uh, this is 560 nano, 560 nano, 400 volt, that's one mega ohm, and then rather oddly on the output, before it goes to LEDs, it's got a resistor on each leg, and it's a modest value of resistor, um, it's a uh, brown, uh, grey brown, which is 180 ohms, and 180 ohms. I'm guessing they're just splitting the load a wee bit between that. And then it is just the usual LEDs wired in series. The LEDs are all positioned on the circuit board in the same direction, probably just to make pick and place easier. And it's kind of notable that the um, the circuit goes up through one LED from one of the terminals, it goes up through one LED to the other, um, 
And then this one goes round the other LEDs here, like that, but then doubles back in between the LEDs and then continues round all the other ones like that till it meets that one again. I'm guessing that's just purely so they could have got the uh, two connections coming up in the middle, because that'll be a fairly standard format. Um, I'm sure the circuit board will probably use in other applications too. So yes, it's this, I mean, it's okay. Uh, I'm glad it's not rated 5 watts, because that would have meant this disc would have been quite hot. Um, it, well, I don't think it was glued, was it? And, and, yeah, there is a wee touch of uh, clear silicon, so they've just dabbed it into the, the housing. So it would have been in touch with the, it would have been in contact with the uh, outer glass to maybe spread some heat into it that way. But you know, they're not bad. They don't have super mega flicker. They, they, they're certainly not smooth, and to be honest, sometimes the electrolytics are more hassle than they're worth. But um, it's a smallish number of LEDs. It's um, 18 LEDs, so the combined voltage of those 18 LEDs will be 18 times 3 volts, roughly. About, there, there's that magic number, 50 volts again, 54 volts. I'm wondering if all these LED arrays seem to come to around about 50 volts. Um, I wonder if it's just a, a sort of industry standard that, you know, the same array can be used in 110 or 240 with uh, just a change of component values. But uh, there you go, that's uh, fundamentally it. They're okay lamps, but uh, nothing really special, but they're just typical average lamps.